In today's session, what we're going to take a look at is something that's been creeping into AutoCAD over the last couple of years, um, cloud. So Autodesk has been striving to integrate AutoCAD and a lot of its other products into the cloud or more tightly with the cloud. Uh, what we see is because there's so much more uh, functionality or processing power in the cloud, it just makes sense that if there's something that's very intensive on your in your local um, your local PC, uh, we should you know maybe spread the love a little bit, put it up into the cloud, and to see uh, how much more quickly we can achieve our goals um, when when we in this fast paced work uh, well, fast paced life that we actually live now. So in AutoCAD, what we've got is two new little buttons, which actually was introduced I think in other. 2019 or 2018, uh, where we can actually open up or save directly to the cloud. These two little uh, icons over here, or two commands, are called Open from Web and Mobile or Save to Web and Mobile. They're found either in the Quick Access Toolbar over here or in the uh, menu over here. So if I go to Open, you'll see that I've got Open Drawing from AutoCAD Web and Mobile. Go to Save As, Save As Drawing to AutoCAD Web and Mobile. Now, one thing you need to make sure is, is that you are logged in with your username, uh, Autodesk account and password. Uh, if you're not, then it will ask you to log in. So if I had to log out of here, I'd have to log back in again when I clicked on save to AutoCAD mobile. So I'm going to go save to web and mobile. And what it's going to do is bring up this uh, dialog box over here. And in it, you'll see there that I've got all my folders that I've saved available to me over here where I can go save this. So I'm going to go save it in Training 201, and uh, I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call this VW Revision 1 and select Save. So now what it's doing is taking it directly from my AutoCAD, which I'm working on, on my desktop, and saving it up into the cloud. The nice thing or the, the, um, the advantages of this is that I can now go and share this with either myself or a colleague out in the field. Uh, they just need to have internet access and a Android device, an iPhone um, or a you know an iPad and be able to access this information. And with another program called the AutoCAD Mobile, you're actually able to then go and access uh, these drawings and then edit it as well, as we'll see just now. So if I go and open up my AutoCAD Mobile app uh, on, my, on, my, uh, on my laptop, uh, you'll see that we're able to open and access that drawing as well as we'll see that there's functionality in this app that you're actually able to go and edit. So the first thing I need to do is sign in. Okay, it's automatically signing in as I've signed in already. And uh, yeah, get limited, unlimited access to all your editing tools. You know, fantastic. So after it's opened up, you'll see there that the folder structure is the same as what it was when I said save through to um, mobile. Okay, and I'm just gonna put into a bit of a list mode easier. I'm gonna go down to my training to a one folder, double click on that. And you'll see there I've got my revision one. And it was saved today at 11.38. So I'm just gonna go double click on that. And it will open up my drawing. And you know, this doesn't have to be done on my laptop with this app. Like I said again, it can be done on either an Android activated device um, or on your iPhone or iPad as well. So as it opens up over here, just taking a quick look at this, you can see on the left hand side, I've got some editing tools. And on the right hand side, you'll see that all my layers that I've created in my drawing get translated as well. So very much similar to AutoCAD. And there you'll see there, here's my drawing all my dimensions and uh, I'm able to go and edit this with my parts list up at the top over here. Let's go draw something. Let me go draw a rectangle. The bottom of this is draw a rectangle. Click on my first point, click on my second point. I'm just going to go draw that rectangle over there, able to move it across. And uh, let's see if that actually translates into into my drawing or back into my okay which i've got on my desktop okay so okay so once i'm done with that go back to my autocad over here and you can see there now that I'm able to go and open up directly from the cloud again so if someone had done some um, alterations in the field you know wherever they are and as long as it, they, it gets saved back up into the, the cloud, I can now then go and back into my 
AutoCAD as the designer sitting back in the office. And I can say, right, I need to go and just open up and, you know, sort of work on the same drawing. You know, you don't want to have to keep on either saving copy as you lose a track of actually which file you're working on. Um, and then when it actually does go to manufacture or, or, you know, sort of to site, you find that the wrong drawing has actually been uh, taken out. So, um, you know, this, this AutoCAD web and mobile, um, very, very, very good in, in being able to synchronize and collaborate efficiently with AutoCAD drawings. I mean, you know, AutoCAD, you know, AutoCAD, everyone thought wasn't, wasn't BIM. Um, it's not BIM. <laughs> Let me just put that out straight to you. But, but it is a case of, of, you know, we, we are making it easier in AutoCAD, you know, if you aren't going to something like Revit or Inventor, to be able to collaborate and, and work on the same drawing and not make all those costly mistakes that people have been traditionally made in the past. And you'll notice there that the rectangle that I drew sitting over there, it's a rectangle. You can see it's a polyline when I select on it. If I go move or copy, I'm able to go and modify that over there. So right, where do I want to move it to? Move it to over there. And I can make damn sure that if I do say, or I can say that if I do save this now back to Web and Mobile, it will overwrite that one in the cloud. The guy in the field will be able to go back and open it and see the changes that I've made. Thank you very much for watching.